We visited a meat factory to find out how McDonald's burgers are made. The process begins on cattle farms, where thousands of cows are raised. McDonald's burgers are made with beef. Cows are slaughtered in slaughterhouses, and the meat is sent to McDonald's suppliers. McDonald's has assured that their burgers do not contain preservatives. However, many people believe that McDonald's burgers are filled with preservatives. In this video, we visit a factory of McDonald's supplier, where an average of 5 million burgers are made daily. The factory is approximately the size of a football field. This factory produces the meat used in the burgers. This company is one of the world's largest suppliers of burgers for the fast food chain. Around 90% of their production is for McDonald's. The first step is to check for bones in the meat. Next, the meat is placed in boxes with a capacity of about 500 kilograms. Almost 500 containers a day are needed to make enough burgers. After removing the meat from the boxes, it is taken to the grinders. Subsequently, the meat is transformed into ground meat in a huge grinder, while another machine ensures that no bone fragments remain. When the ground meat looks like spaghetti, it is perfect. Then another machine shapes the meat into patties and adds the famous preservatives. The meat is frozen at a temperature of minus 18 degrees Celsius. To keep the production process active, fewer people are needed than one might imagine. A total of 100 people work in the factory. In total, the factory has the capacity to produce around 30 million burgers per week, although its production is slightly lower. the fat content of McDonald's burgers must be 20%. The burgers are placed in plastic bags and then in boxes. Once packaged, another machine wraps the burgers and wraps them in plastic. The burgers are taken from the distribution center to McDonald's restaurants. When the meat arrives at the restaurant, it is completely frozen. McDonald's burgers are never flipped. They are cooked on a special electric grill that cooks the meat from top to bottom, reducing cooking time. It takes only 40 seconds to cook a frozen burger. Next, salt and pepper are added to the burger after cooking. Next, the focus shifts to the production of buns. The bun-making process begins with the dough. First, flour is added, then water is poured, liquid yeast is added, and salt is included. Some proteins and preservatives are also included to help relax the dough. The dough is mixed in giant mixers and allowed to ferment for a few hours. Subsequently, sugar is added to the mixture. A machine shapes the dough into small balls, which are placed in molds and are ready to go through the oven. But before that, sesame seeds are added. They pass through a machine that pours thousands of sesame seeds onto the buns. Then, they are placed in a giant oven at 240 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes. When they come out of the oven, they have a golden and very appetizing appearance. Once cooled, they are checked and packaged in plastic bags. They are now ready to be sent to fast food restaurants. Once in the restaurant, the employee will finish browning and heating the patties in a special oven. Lettuce is also prepared. 
freshly harvested lettuces are sent to a factory where they are cut into smaller portions. A machine crushes them and they travel along a conveyor belt until they fall into water tanks where they are washed and any dirt they may have is removed. Vibrations also help remove any waste. After removing the dirt and waste, they pass through a conveyor belt until they reach a shredder that cuts the lettuce into smaller pieces. This might be the healthiest thing you'll find in a McDonald's burger. Next, the focus shifts to the production of cheese. Yellow cheese is one of the most well-known processed cheese, often seen in slice form. It has the ability to melt and has a longer shelf life than traditional cheese. A machine cuts thousands of cheese slices with a rotating arm. Once sliced, they are sent to McDonald's restaurants. Back in the restaurant, while the meat is cooking, the bread is toasted in an electric oven. Separately, the cook uses a spatula to place the meat on the bun. Seasonings and pickles are added on top of the meat, and the top part of the bun is placed. The hamburger is wrapped and slid into the hot serving unit. The total time it takes to prepare a McDonald's hamburger, from the freezer to the consumer's hands, is approximately a minute and a half. Now you know how McDonald's hamburgers are made. What's your favorite part of the burger making process that surprised you the most? Share your thoughts in the comments. If you want to know how bread is made, watch the video on your screen and please like the video if you enjoyed it and share it with someone who might be interested. Also, subscribe to this channel by activating the notifications to continue learning. Thanks for watching.